Hello everybody and welcome back to From the Depths. My name is Steven Marcateros and today we are trying to contemplate one, why our bullet submarine looks so awesome and is submerged and hidden from everything. Two, why Fraps is absolutely having a very bad day because my cursor will not stay locked to the cursor crosshair. <laughs> And three, how we are going to get inside of this giant metal beast, because, well, she has no doors, because it's a submarine, and well, actually, submarines do naturally have doors, albeit not in the same fashion you would think a door occurs. Uh, another thing I realized in the game, and uh, during the meantime, while trying to record this, uh, like, two different times in the beginning, because I kept, uh, reaching out of the window, and perhaps kept going, like, nope, head a, eh, oh god, that sounds barely made sense, is that if you jump on top of an underwater ship, it'll be, like, jumping in, on top of the air, so you can't actually make it up to the surface from starting from jumping from an underwater ship. That is very interesting, and I don't know why that exists. Albeit, if you're not outside of the ship, you can go up as far as you want. I'm not sure if that was a feature added, uh, so you could stay close to your underwater ships, or if it was a feature added, uh, you know, in, in air. Uh, you basically fall the same, too, if you fall on top of a ship. It's, it's basically like it still exists on the water. I don't know. It's it's really interesting. You guys uh, should probably check that out on your own. See uh, see if you like that. See if you don't like that. Contact uh, the guy who makes the game. I hate forgetting his name. I've never... Uh, I don't remember what it is. So, yeah. Without further ado, let's uh, blow a hole right in the top of our ship. Hopefully our guy will repair it when he gets the chance. Okay, let's see. Where are we shooting? Into it. Right there. This piece of metal has been selected to be shot at. Hello, piece of metal that's getting shot at. What is what's going on? Oh, we haven't actually selected one. We selected like in between two. There we are, and we're gonna bust through it, and there we go. Okay. Well now we can get into our ship. Yay! Come on. There we are. Look at that. And my guy already repaired it. See? That was quick. Nice and quick. Okay, now we do have this piece of metal. Shoot that up. There we are. Look at that. And hopefully this thing is actually controlling itself reasonably. Oh god, it's it's flooding a lot. It's flooding a lot. No, 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 it's not flooding. It has a leak. Where's the leak? Oh no, it's leaking. Okay, uh, let's try turning it off and on again. Let's see if that works. You know, it's like just like a computer. Turn it on and off again. See if that works. Do we puncture a hole in it that bad? Do we, do we need to bring it back up? Do we need to resurface the ship? And if so, then how exactly do I control that? Um, do I... How, how do I... Oh, gosh. Ooh, this is... Uh, yeah, I, I don't actually know how we'd manually control uh, raising the ship up. Because what we have to do is we have to... Uh, oh, no. Since the interior is flooded, can it actually make it back up? I have no idea. This could be interesting. This could be interesting. All air pumps are activated since we are actually down. And I think we're losing... Oh, no. That's a problem. That is a big problem. We can't have one of the areas get punctured and then the entire submarine sinks because that will pretty much make this uh, device... Very useless. Also, they're they're quite visible, not going to lie. I mean, you can most definitely see this thing from the surface from, like, extremely far away. Well, actually, no, not too far. Like, here, you can't really see it. But when you start getting a little bit... Well, actually, no, you still can't really see it. Oh, my God, the visibility... Oh, wait, have we just, like, gone so far? Oh, I went over it. I couldn't see it so much that we went over it. Yeah, well, I mean, it is partially hidden. Yeah. Well, once you get low enough, then you can't see it. But if you're kind of, like, nice uh, and high... You know, I can't... Oh, nice and high... <laughs> You can't really uh, see anything that's going on. All right, so that's 0% flooded. This is like 100% flooded in here. Lovely. How are we going to isolate the issue and fix it? Uh, I don't know. I don't know at all. What if we put engines on the back and we tried raising it up to the surface? Um, ooh, by just like throwing it kind of like 100% and seeing if we can get it to uh, be strong enough to take us back to the surface. Let's see if we can get that to work or not. Uh, so we're going to control... A vehicle controller, get it like a ship's wheel. Actually, let's just put in a regular vehicle controller since this thing is a little bit wacky and what exactly we have it be doing. And then we go to water and put in a propeller. And does this thing really need a rudder? I don't think it. Well, yeah, it's going to need a rudder if we actually want to be able to control it. Let's put in our mirror. And so, yeah, we will just uh, make space for that rudder there. All right. And look at this. Can we just fill it with the. Yeah, we we'll just fill it with that. Lovely. Look at that. And what we're going to do for left and right movements. Whoa, we are. Are we going up? Yeah, we are, like, seriously going up for some reason. What just happened? What just happened? Did we, like, regain buoyancy in our, uh... Thing? I think we just regained buoyancy again. That was really bizarre. Apparently, it figured out that it was fixed. So, yes, now we are getting that, uh, that buoyancy we want. And we're going back up to the surface. Look at that. Okay, so what are we going to do for left and right movement? As I was saying, we are just going to put some of these on the side like this. Uh, so they can just push us left and right when we need to and uh, turn us that way. And we're also going to put in a rudder, obviously, so we can actually turn. Uh, but yeah, that's going to be our main control device for uh, the system. Okay. 
So we got that in. And uh, what else we're we gonna need? Uh, the rudder, obviously. Rudder, 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 rudder right there. And yes, still, I still haven't unlocked the uh, the huge things yet. I haven't, again, played the campaign. You guys need to uh, suggest me some videos for that. Don't say Lathland either. Don't say, don't say Lathland. Okay, uh, let's see if we can get the nice controls of this ship. All right, so here we are. Okay, let's uh, let's get her moving. I'll see if she works. So first things first, let's uh, fire up the engines so we can start moving. All right, it's a little bit front heavy. Not gonna lie, a little bit front heavy. Okay, let's uh, turn down the throttle a little bit. Let's turn down the throttle a lot. Um, come on, balance, balance out. Okay, so this thing is very front heavy. So we're gonna need some lead in the back to uh, keep it from, you know, going like crazy mad. Uh, it's it's gonna be a very refined process, I believe. These these submarines, it's a very kind of refined system. It's sort of like a uh, like a gentleman's club, you know. You gotta make it quite perfect. You know, the you have to wear those perfect white outfits whenever you're playing like tennis or racquetball or something. And then, you know, you, you can't let any other people in because, well, I mean, that could ruin ruin the reputation of the club for like ever. Uh, trust me, I have I have very little experience in operating uh, such businesses or establishments. I will have you know. All right. Whoop. Oh, so if we back up, it actually fixes it. But uh, yeah, we don't really want to, uh, you know, fix it by having weird backup rules and stuff. Uh, maybe if we put in better uh, uh, jet controllers on it, we could uh, get a little bit better. Or if we just add more lead to it, uh, you know, weigh it down in the back and uh, keep it from tipping itself over. All nice and uh, uncanny. Like I don't know why I didn't use a mirror there. Oh, we don't want a mirror there, definitely. All right. Now I'm uh, being led to believe it's a little bit back heavy. Or yeah. This is very interesting. Okay, uh, why is it why is it doing that? Why is it doing that? I thought we had stabilizers in order to uh, stabilize this kind of occurrence. I'm not sure. I am not sure. Okay, so it's begun to do that. Um, hmm. 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 All right. So if we actually turn the engine down a bit. And we do that, then yeah, it's just far too back heavy, and it'll start coming down. But when the engines are on, so we, we just can't keep the engines on all uh, full net or like 100%, or otherwise uh, everything will stop working and they'll be crazy. Okay, uh, let's try doing this. Let's see if we can get some of those jet stabilizers on the front and back in order to prevent uh, this from getting like too out of hand. All right, so let me just destroy these so the ship actually begins to balance itself out. Uh, within moderation, okay, um, is that sort of balancing? Yeah, sort of. Not preferably balancing, but <laughs> it's balancing a little bit, you know? You gotta give it, like, a little bit of credit there. It's trying as hard as it can. Okay, use any power to uh, level up the vehicle, uh, roll in one front and back to reduce pitch. Okay, they run automatically, it works underwater. Mm -hmm. Alright, so this should technically work. Technically work. All right, yeah, that one definitely just fired up there for a second. All right, so we got one there, and we'll put one in the front. We have to start putting multiple ones everywhere in order to get these to work better. I don't know. Yeah, it doesn't say to do that in the instruction manual, but... Well, let's see. Okay, so we got a build mode. Well, it's starting to stabilize. It is starting to stabilize quite a bit. All right. So we're getting a little bit of stabilization. Not, not lovely. We're going to need to take out more of that lead in the back. Uh, it's still a little bit back heavy. All right. Uh, do do do. Taking out the lead. It's always a great day to take out lead. Uh, take the lead out of everything, you know, pencils and well, actually, blood's not in pencils, but you know, take lead out of your glassware and stuff. Otherwise, you're gonna die. Uh, okay, okay. Let's see if it stabilizes, and let's uh, fire up the engines and see if we can get it from uh, completely flipping out of control again. All right, so it's starting to tip forward a bit. All right, and now it's really starting to tip forward. All right, now it's it's really tipping forward again. Okay, what are we gonna do about this? Uh. What if we put the engines that control the ship, or what if we just don't add as many, actually? What if we just, like, add a few engines to it? Do we really need this many engines? I mean, do we really need this many engines? This many? This many? I don't think so. Okay, let's uh, let's take out some of these engines. That's gonna be our best bet. We, we're just overpowering everything. We're always uh, so used to overpowering everything that we never take into consideration that we can really actually overpower things. All right, so if we just uh, give it a little bit less uh, power and we just put it a little bit more centralized in the middle, too, I think we can uh, definitely get some uh, nice results out of this. Let's take out one more layer from each side and see if just these uh, row of 3x7s uh, uh, will do. All right, uh, get out of the build mode, and it's begun tipping forward again. 
This ship is very bizarre. This ship is very bizarre indeed. It just does what it wants all the time. It has like no like respect for anything. It's just like, oh, uh, you know, man, just, just chillax and do my thing. All right, so let's add like a couple more to the front and back and try to just really stabilize it out. <laughs> okay, so this one, yeah, it's pushing. They're pushing the right ways, I believe. All right, so, uh, yep, yeah, it's it's starting to write itself. It's a little bit self-writing, all right. So now if we turn on the water drive, we start to get a little bit of speed. Does it still push us down? It still pushes us down, but not quite as much. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe there's just too many engines on the top. Maybe I should just take off some of the top engines on it and see if that fixes our problem any. All right, all right. So we're going, oh, that's starting to fix. Look at that, it's starting to, it's starting to work. All right, let's put our uh, auto drive on max and see if we can operate this on max. So we're moving like two and a half and what, whoa. Whoa, what happened to our altitude? Whoa, what happened to the altitude? Oh my gosh. Why are we underwater so far? All right, so I'm going to 35.4. I should activate the air pumps. We're less than 63.6. I should do that. Why are we at negative 242? Is this working in here? Yeah, that's working just fine. Why aren't we gaining altitude? Oh, good lord. What did we do this time? Is it too heavy to actually go up again? Is it... Is it it's so finicky with the balance. It's so finicky. All right, let's just take out some of the front stuff, I guess. I don't know. I'm, like, lost at this point. This project is becoming very difficult. So I hope this doesn't become a three-parter. This could get uh, rather tragic rather quickly. Oh, we're still going down. We're still going down. We're going down, like, even faster now. What is happening? All right, 269... It's still, it's still pushing us down. It's, we're still going down. All right, we're just getting, we're just throwing stuff off the ship. 269, okay, it's stalled out. It's stalled out. It's stalled out for a second. Okay. We've got a nice stall going on. Okay. The engines are just like chillaxing as normal because reasons, or maybe these are keeping us from moving up and down. Maybe they're just keeping us centered. Oh, that could be a big problem. Could be a big problem. All right, actually, let's turn off the uh, the engines. Actually, we're not anywhere near the engines. Let's uh, get near the engines. Oh, we're near the engine. We're not near the actual like propeller blades we want to turn off. Oh my, mm, my. All right. Um, let's turn this off. Uh, we turn it to battle tank mode. Yes. All right. Two seventy-seven and not going up. Volume zero cubic meters is not breached. What? Why is that being not controlled? What? Is, where is there a, a puncture? Why isn't it registering as more? Uh, I think I know what's happened. Okay. Um. All right. So let's uh, replace this then. All right. Let's get a new one in. Okay. There we go. Now we've reset that. It's working again. Okay. Is this one here actually registering as uh, blocks? No, this one is, is not registering as blocks. Why have they stopped registering? Huh. All right, and that one's working now too. Okay, so now we are uh, beginning to go back up at a dramatic speed too. Look at our submarine go. Our submarine go. It's a giant bullet raising back up to the surface. It's very far down there. I mean, you can barely, see, well, you can actually like very clearly see it from here, but as you start to fade away from it, it does become very invisible because of the sunlight. Very interesting. Oh God, now I've lost it. Where's it at? Where is our submarine? Okay, we just need to go up and look down. There it is, right there. Or we could have looked at the map too, and that would probably would have been very helpful. Uh, or just tap it out again. Whoa! What's happening? What's happening? Okay, um. Why is it so side heavy? Why is this thing so side heavy? Is it because I'm standing on it? In the side, and that's what's doing it? Is it really that finicky? Come on, come on, come on, tip back righty. Come on, Arch, maybe I can control it with this. Whoop, no, that didn't help. All right, there we go. Now we're starting to control it a little bit more. All right, all right. So we got uh, those side ones on. That's helping, that's helping. All right, all right, so now we got that. Okay, 
And is it going to stay upright this time? I'm hoping. I'm really hoping it's going to stay upright. Hmm. This has been the most finicky submarine ever. Right, and I think it's sort of like permanently like stuck. It's very interesting. <laughs> very interesting to see how just like a small little control like that will completely affect the outcome uh, of the ship. If we just add more of these, I guess we could uh, probably in in increase the amount of thrust balance on each side. Uh, I had some over here too, so things don't go terribly wrong. All right, so we got that. And, okay, yeah, it's starting to balance again. Okay, we, we just needed more thrust, I guess. More thrust in order to balance out our left and right with each other. Okay, uh, so on to the next task. What is the next task going to be? Uh, we need, what do we need? Uh, I mean, we could add decorations and stuff inside, uh, but we need missiles, I guess. Yeah, missiles are our next priority. So where are the missile, gaze gonna, missile bays going to be? I think we're going to put them uh, somewhere on the top and the bottom. We're going to put in some nice motorized torpedoes with them as well. All right, so if we add the blocks... Um, so we use lightweight ally. I mean, we don't affect the actual uh, layout of the ship too much more, uh, because as you just saw, this thing is absolutely flipping out of control at like every perceivable second. All right, uh, how long do we put these uh, missile bays to be? It doesn't really matter, does it? I mean, as long as we have the mirror set up, it shouldn't matter too much. Okay, we haven't flipped out of control again, have we? No, we have not. We still need to work on how to surface the ship, too, because I think the uh, automatic controls are going to get a little bit uh, overboard on us and uh, try to tell us that we can't do stuff that we should be able to do. All right. Uh, so if we just do this like this, um, we should get some nice uh, side torpedo launchers, hopefully. Or uh, we'll get some absolutely failing torpedo launchers, which I guess might also work a little bit. Okay, so we get missile torpedoes. We get a nice missile controller in here. Position it uh, so that's under it. All right, I believe we can actually connect a uh, missile launch pad directly to uh, the missile controller, and it should register. Never mind, apparently you can't. Not connected. It is, like, right next to it, though. I'm not going to lie. Oh, oh no, wait, it's facing our direction. Huh. Look at that. Uh, okay, not connected. No, it's still not connected. Lovely. Okay. So apparently we d can't do connections on uh, on stuff like that. So let's get some six-way connector six connectors. Uh, down here like this, and there we are. Okay, now we can put the missile launch pads on here. They should show up. Okay, they're still not connected. Apparently, our connection for uh, this thing is, like, absolutely off. Uh, off its rocker, I guess is what we could say. Um, let's see if we can put it upside down if it connects. Not connected. Okay. All right, so then let's spin it, I guess, on its side like this. Not connected. All right. No, it doesn't really like us. It's not liking us today. There we go. Okay, whatever that did, it worked. Okay, uh, it's connected to zero cylinder pod things. All right, so let's uh, like that, and we can get our missile blocks in. Here we are. We're gonna get some nice torpedoes in like this. This should be long enough for a torpedo bay, I guess. Uh, just like that. Look at that. Some nice, awesome-looking torpedo bays. Okay, and then what are we going to need here for these? Whoa, they've actually diff or made this different. Look at that. That's pretty nice. Uh, last time I did this, the missiles didn't have all the stuff. What is all this new stuff? APN guidance. Uh, except missile, the zone bearing. Oh, no, I think they just renamed it. Or maybe it was already there. I just didn't notice. EMP single pixel IR seeker. Hmm. Okay, some of this stuff. Missile interceptor. Missile warning. Ca yeah, this is changed. This is definitely changed. The thumper head. Oh, uh, impact kinetic collision style dam- Well, that's a little bit of an error there. Kinetic collision style damage relative to the missile's mass and forward speed. It sits on the front of the missile. That could be very useful for something else I'm designing. Uh, a sticky flare out in the, in the air. It attracts IR-seeking missiles. Yep, I've known that exists for a while. All right, look at that. Okay, so we put a short-range thruster. Or actually, it's already underwater, so... Uh, maybe we don't even need that. We need a torpedo propeller. Yeah. All right. Okay, so if we change this and then we leave it with some fuel. This is, it probably needs a fuel tank. We're just going to go with that. It needs fuel tank. The fins will probably uh, keep it, you know, around underwater, I believe. And then the target prediction guidance will probably be useful. The one turn will be useful. And all of these warheads should be useful. We'll probably get a magnet on it somewhere. Where should we put the magnet? 
Um, do you do target prediction guidance? I think it's pretty important. So, well, let's get rid of one of the fins and see uh, how how well this works. Okay, so assign all the same length. Uh, exit, does that assign to these as well? Let's see if it assigned to these as well. It did not. Okay, so let's put in our... What did we change here? We put in a magnet here, and we change this to a torpedo uh, propeller. Where's our torpedo propeller? Where's my torpedo propeller? Torpedo propeller, right there. Actually, no, there's torpedo sonar. 120 degrees. Most useful for hunting ships and submarines. Targets uh, opponents that are underwater and only works when underwater. All right, that sounds good. Uh, let's see if we can add some of these on instead of uh, infrared seekers. Uh, it's a torpedo sonar. I assigned also some uh, missiles the same length and do the same here. Uh, torpedo sonar, assign all the same length, exit. Okay, let's see how our torpedo bays work. We are going to need to add a uh, actual uh, fire control computer. There we go, fire control computer. Got one of these babies. Swap her around uh, and get out of build and then uh, see what, what works for us. Okay, so we have these things. All right, uh, so let's, uh, ooh, we are uh, a little bit in the back there, but that's all right. That happens to our uh, submarine every once in a while. And let's launch them. All right, look at them go. Wow, those are fast. Look at that. All right, so they do they do come up rather quick. Uh, I'm not going to lie. Um, which is all right. Um, okay. Yeah, they just keep going, man. Those things are going. They're very happy, but they go. Look at that. All right, so there's some pretty good range on that. There's definitely some pretty good range on that. Okay, okay. Yeah, they're still going. They're still going. They're still going. Wow, these things are going. Man, look at how far they're getting from the actual sub. I wonder when they're actually going to, like, die out. And they have magnets on them, too, so in case their uh, propeller does break down, they will uh, definitely make their way towards whatever they were targeted at. All right, so where's the sub at? Oh, my God, the sub's all the way over there. Wow, look at the range on those. Maybe they don't even run off of fuel. I think that might be what it be. I think they have an advantage because they don't run off of fuel. I have no actual idea. And I've lost the submarine. There it is. All right. Comment in the description. Do we need fuel for the torpedoes? Say yes or no. That'd be, that'd be useful. Okay, uh, so let's wait. What was our L? Oh no! Oh no! Not again! Not again! Uh, okay, I think I know what's going on. I think our uh, difference isn't large enough, and it's affecting us a little bit too much. Let's see. Uh, when it's uh, less than that, so let's. Altitude is less than forty-five. Then we turn on the air pump, okay, and if it's uh, if it's greater than 55, then we de- no wait, this doesn't sound right. Uh, no, we want it to be the other way. Whoa, hold on. Whoa, we want it to be higher. We want it to be like 37 and like 40, uh, it's still a bit close, uh, 82 I guess. All right, and we're gonna need to test this one to, uh, to, oh god, we have to edit it again, don't we? Oh no, that's not what I wanted. Uh, all right, this is what we wanted. All right, R. And we'll just shift replace and do the same for this one. Shift replace. There we go. Okay, it should be fixed again. Should be fixed again. All right, so let's uh, test out these torpedoes a little bit differently uh, this time. Let's actually add in something that we can destroy. Wow, look at this thing go up. It is just going up very quickly. Let's uh, add in something we can shoot at and target. So we'll load a vehicle. Hey, you remember that uh, that thing we built, right? That star, star gunboat? Oh, we need to spawn it without an AI that's working. That's too bad. We can't do that. Um, so let's uh, do the Starship TP right now on uh, my team. Actually, no, not my team. We'll do it on a uh, an A team. How about that? Because uh, this thing is technically a target practice ship, and it will not fire back at us uh, at all in any circumstance. That's what I like about having those dummy ships. All right, where's that? Where is our target? We're still going up quite uh, drastically, actually. And there is our target. It's in front of us. Mildly in front of us. We can probably look on the map. Because we are... Whoa! What is happening? That is not... Okay, so apparently if you scroll in far enough, it does that. Alright, so... We are... Here. We apparently must not have any radar detection anymore. Interesting. Very interesting. Alright. So, what altitude are we set to uh, go, go up to? I think it's like 37 now. Alright, so... Yeah. Maybe 32? I don't know, we just keep going up. We are just 
going up. Oh my god, we're gonna surface again. We're gonna surface. We're gonna surface. We've surfaced. What, what? Look at us. We've surfaced. Impressive. If you're not impressive, we didn't want it to surface. Well, we figured out how to make it surface now. Uh, just try not to make it surface. All right, activated when altitude is less. Uh, effects, air pumps. All right, so less than negative 82. Uh, oh, positive 37. Yeah, like that's remotely useful. Okay, uh, deactivate air pumps when altitude is greater. Okay, so we've just started sinking again. Yes, we have, look at us submerging. Yay, sub submerging. Let's turn on the engine to make it really cool. All right, okay, and so we got a target. So I guess we just shoot. Okay, it didn't work because of the very obvious fact that we have no ammo aboard the ship whatsoever. Yes, we, we never put any ammo processors in. That's what I'm saying, and it's all your fault. All subscribers' fault, maybe. Maybe, maybe not. Okay, uh, so if we put in resources and we put in some uh, ammo barrels, I guess, was what we'll need first off. So we have some nice ammo there, and then we put in some ammunition processors. We have some fuel processors as well. Uh, Fuel storage tanks. All right, and then we get some fuel processors. We should have a self-sufficient system that will allow us to replenish fuel and allow us to replenish ammunition. Look at that, look at that go. All right, so, yep. Look at that, ammo is like completely replenished. And we've got our four torpedoes back. So now we can take out what we need to on our enemies. All right, are we ready to kill them? I think we're ready to kill them. Let's show them who's boss. We're a little bit close, actually. Let's let's back up. I think we can back up. That's something we can do, right? Engines, right? Engines, right? Engines. Hmm. Maybe. We're backing up and we're falling. Lovely. I like that combo. All right. So let's uh, let's launch the torps. Look at them go. All right. They've made their turn, and they're going up. And boom! Look at that. Took out the uh, structural support on the side, and it just magneted itself right over to the ship. This is a very deadly combo, and especially we can do it very far away too, we just happen to be really close because, well, our ship is absolutely terrible uh, controls, it moves like two and a half, this is max speed, two and a half, yeah, um, okay, so let's launch, alright, launch another bout of torps, okay, look at that, they floated up to the surface, and uh, they have punctured uh, yet again the side thing that keeps it afloat mildly, well, it doesn't anymore because it's... Uh, whole thing, this whole structural thing is out. I think the problem is that this one's moving forward while we're moving back and it's not actually changing <laughs> directions at all. Lovely. Okay, uh, can we control? I don't think we can control the enemy one. That's too bad. We just gotta keep torpedoing it until it dies. Die. Die. Let's look at it from an underwater perspective. Not nearly as impressive. Um, but yes. Underwater perspective is underwater. And our missiles are almost fully reloaded again. We just need a little bit more ammunition. We probably should put some more ammo processors aboard the ship uh, in order to keep it uh, nice and quick. The AI really, really control it. Yes, the nice, pleasant AI. The AI is always such a beautiful thing in this game. It's always like, hey, I'm the AI. I'm here to change everything and make it really bizarre. Okay, so let's actually uh, just reposition the uh, location of our own ship. So if we turn it a little bit to the... Maybe the other way, actually, is where we need to go. Yeah, this way. We've uh, started coming up a lot, too. Uh, I think we're going to surface again. We're surfacing. We're surfacing. No, wait. No, we reached the magic number 18. Apparently, that's when we start going down again. Well, let's see if the torpedoes can find the target from this far off. Um, that one did. Those two have not. I don't know where they think they're going. I don't know. Those don't have either. Right, ooh, that one almost didn't make it. All right, so these torpedoes uh, generally aren't very good for actually finding things. Maybe because I didn't put enough fins on them. It could probably be my fault. Where is our thing? Oh, crap. We're like way back here now. All right, let's stop moving. Okay, and uh, let's uh, aim a little bit more towards where we actually need to aim. All right, so we can turn the ship and find the target. All right, so I will go out straight to the front, and we will... Uh, move as such. Well, if I'm actually using the control panel. <laughs> we will move as such. Alright, and uh, this is looking pretty good, albeit I don't want to like completely tip us over. Yeah, 
that could happen if we, we took it too extreme. All right, and uh, let's launch. Launch! Woo -woo. Oh, we're going to get a nice shot right on it. It's trying to get over us. Ain't going to work, though. Ain't going to work. Ain't going to work. Look at that. Puncture is right inside of the ship. Look at that. Look at that. That's impressive. All right. I have this feeling if it rammed our sub, that could end absolutely terrible. Uh, so let's... Uh, Actually, I kind of want to see what happens when we do that. So let's, uh, uh, let's have some effect nuns on here. And let's turn our air pumps on to 100%. I'll switch them on. Okay. Switched on and switched on. Maybe they're going to try the ramming technique on us. Maybe I can ram it. Let's ram it! Yay! Ramming submarines into things! Awesome. <coughs> It'll probably sink, like, immediately as it hits it. I think it's going to be absolutely hilarious. All right, there it goes. Launch your torpedo, launch your missiles. Woo! <laughs> oh, that was absolutely hilarious. Oh my gosh. Uh, yeah, but this is uh, basic knowledge as to why submarines uh, do not, oh my God, it just actually went and hit itself. Oof. Whoa, our submarine is getting a little bit. <laughs> it's like, I'm going to eat you. I'm going to eat you alive. All right, I'll see if we launch the missiles again, what happens. Oh great, that, yeah. Uh, they shouldn't let me design torpedoes. It never works well. Um, so basically, like, the submarine is failing right now. Um, no, actually, let, let's, let's submerge. We're submerging again. Submerge. Ooh, and we're flipping on our side. Yeah, we are totally flipping on our side here. All right, let's launch missiles again. That was completely missed. Lovely. We need, like, a cannon on this thing. That'd be so cool if we had, like, a high-power cannon on it. Wow. Um, I can't even explain the extent of how absolutely ridiculous this looks. All right, so let's see. We'll see if we can submerge and take the other ship with it. All right. So now we should be completely sinking. Um, let's also put our engine on like max too, so we just really push at it. Look at that! It's just the metal on metal screeching of two ships coming to love each other. Ah, oh, yeah. Oh yeah. Whoa! Look at that torp go, man. Look at it go. Okay, so I think we've all learned something here. Um, having submarines mate with uh, actual ships that were not meant to be submarines doesn't end well for either the submarine or the ship that it is trying to uh, be, you know, have have children with. Um, generally, just don't try out this uh, this combo. It's uh, not proven to work in like any time. So just yeah, just uh, make note of that. And uh, yeah, if you decide to uh, deactivate your submarines, uh, like all of its uh, all of its air pumps, it will go and sink right down to the bottom of the ship because, well, or the bottom of the sea, not the bottom of the ship, because well, that was what it was designed to do. Torpedo mode. Oh, massive damage. We've attacked its weak points. It's like a giant enemy crab all over again. I love giant enemy crabs. They're my inspiration in life, you know. Inspiration. Okay, and we're gonna do it like once more. All right, there we go. Look at that, maybe we can bust the entire arm off of it. Maybe not, maybe. There we go, look at that. That's some nice damage inside there. Okay, so yeah, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed seeing the submarine get built, I think that's where we're gonna leave it for now. If I wanna revisit the sub, you know, uh, see what uh, we can really make it capable. If you have any suggestions for what we can add to the submarine, uh, make sure you rate, comment, and subscribe. Otherwise, I will see you guys next time.